what's up you guys so this video i kind of really didn't even want to make because i just feel like my business is my business so whatever i decide to do for myself personally i really don't want to hear the judgment of nobody else you know what i mean so i kind of been keeping this to myself but kind of like letting all hands go not really saying anything about it to anyone for real because I kind of was going back and forth with myself for a mommy. Excuse the said and I'm at work. So, if you, well, a lot of y'all probably don't know me, but the people that do know me, like friends and family that's following my YouTube, they know, like, it's no secret I'm a big girl. I've been big all my life. Um, I never really cared about my weight for real until I had my son, my three year old son. And, even after having him, it wasn't really a big a big deal because to me, in my eyes, I'm that, <laughs> you know, I'm that girl. Okay, nobody tell me nothing. Um, but maybe, um, maybe two years ago, when he was one, um, I started thinking about VSG a surgery, weight loss surgery, because. Um, a good friend of mine and my mom had it. And I was talking to her about it, you know, when she had it. She didn't really tell nobody. She just kind of, you know, was working out and doing her thing. And then she ended up getting it. And, you know, as time went by, once she got through the, the hard part, she started letting people know, like close people to her know that she had done it. So, like I said, it's kind of been on my mind, but it, it never was on my mind as heavy as it is now. And um, I've done things to try to lose weight. I don't feel like I gave it 100% when I have done it in the past. But then again, I start to think like maybe I can't give it 100%. That's why I never fell all the way through with it. Because I tried multiple things. I even took diet pills at one time. So, you know, that was a bit extreme for me. I'm just like, I'm getting headaches that's a whole nother story anyway but yeah so i'm considering it and i'm just kind of like stuck in the middle like i'm i'm like you know i went through the whole process of going to the doctor seeing the doctor losing the weight that they wanted me to lose i ha got approved to have the surgery on the 28th of December, I went in and I was supposed to schedule my surgery date. But I asked her, could she give me a little more time? Because I'm just not 100% set in stone that that's something that I know that is something that I want to do. But I just want to make sure that I fully understand what I'm going into with this. Because this is a life-altering decision. You know what I'm saying? And it's not an easy way out like people think it is, you know? Like, people think, like, oh, she had the surgery, like, she cheated. No, she didn't cheat because she just need that extra boost to really get her where she's trying to go, you know? Um, like I said, I tried working out before, and it never really just stick. I tried diets before, it never really just stick. With this, this is a tool to help you. So... With this, they're going to be removing 80% of my stomach on the inside. And basically, once they do that, my stomach will be the shape of a banana. I won't be able to intake as much food as I can. Because right now, what I'm doing is, when I eat, even though I'm full, because it tastes so good, or because I'm just greedy, I'm a foodie, I like to eat, I just overeat, you know? I don't stop because it tastes good, you know? You want to slam it. When you get something, you get your plate of food, you like, this look hella good. I'm about to slam it, and that's exactly what I do. I slam my shit. <laughs> if you know me, you know I could cook, and my shit be chef's kiss. But, um, yeah, um, with that tool, you won't be able to intake as much food. So, even if I want to keep going my body's not going to allow me to go because at a point it's going to be like boom like bitch you gotta stop otherwise i'm gonna be hurting myself so a part of me is just like 
I really, I, I want to do this for my son. Like, let me tell y'all my reasoning for this. I really just want to be able to do more active activities with my son without me getting hell out of breath. Um, even just walking up a hill without me feeling like I'm about to fucking pass out or my chest is about to cave in. Or, you know, walking upstairs without worrying about, well, not worrying about, but without having to stop and catch my breath because my heart is pounding out of my chest. Like, I just want to be healthy. And I really just want to be the best version of me that I can be for my son. Um, for his third birthday, which just passed in August, we went to Legoland. And my baby was just like, mommy, like, he wanted me to get on with him on the rides. And how do you explain to your three-year-old, like, I can't get on this ride because I'm past the weight limit? Or, you know, like, or the, the clamps won't close because I'm too wide. Or, you know, like, you, you can't really explain that to a three-year-old because he don't understand. But he wants mommy to get on with him, you know? As I'm steady having my baby daddy get on. Like, oh, get on with him, get on with him. He want to know why mommy don't want to get on, you know? So... That was kind of a bummer to me, and it really made me feel a little down, like, oh, you know, I can't even, um, one second, somebody coming in, sorry about that, somebody had, um, came in, let me show y'all, like, sis ain't, like, just, like, unhappy with herself, because, like I said, I'm that girl, <laughs> that girl, but... Where did I leave off at? Oh, at Legoland, my baby, you know. He wanted mommy to get on, and it wasn't so much embarrassing because it's not like everybody around me could, like, see what I was thinking or hear what I was thinking in my head, but just me knowing, you know. So that was something that made me, that sparked interest in getting it again. Um. Now, my reasoning for not wanting to really tell nobody is just like, it's my business, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you tell people certain things, they um, they listening to respond and not really listening to hear you out or to understand where you're coming from. And I feel like a lot of the times that's what happened with me and people in my life. Um, everybody just already know what you should and shouldn't be doing or what's best for you or what they think is best for you, you know? So, I decided to keep it to myself. I probably told a handful of people that are good supporters of mine, which they know who they are. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm continuing to do the um, eating regimen that the nutritionist from the weight loss clinic gave me so I can continue to lose weight because what I don't want to do is gain all the weight back that I lost so far and have to start all the way over. If I do or when I, <laughs> excuse me, or when I do decide to go ahead and go through with the procedure. Um... Right now, I'm kind of just fighting with myself about it, like I said, because it's a life-altering decision. Um, and some of the questions that I'm asking myself are that I'm asking the people that I know that have done it are questions that I feel like somebody that's ready for surgery shouldn't be asking. As far as, like, am I never going to be able to eat rice again? Um, will I be able to, you know, chug some water? No. Will I be able to eat rice eventually? But the first, um, six months is going to be really rough from their experience, the people that I know. So, one of the people said about the first three to four months. So, it really just depends on you. And then another thing is that I don't want to do something that I regret. I don't want to go through with this surgery and wake up every day miserable because I didn't give myself a fair chance to try to lose the weight on my own. Um, 
also I'm just really scared. Like I'm I'm not big on medicine. I'm not big on surgeries. Um I know that with the VSG surgery, like you would have to take vitamins for the rest of your life because you know your body is gonna change. Um they taking a part of your insides out, so a lot of stuff gonna change. Um I barely can take medicine when I'm sick, so I know popping a vitamin or multiple vitamins every day is going to be a challenge for me. Um, and just not being able to eat in the way that I'm used to eating. Like, you know, it's a control thing, actually. Like, you know, it's too much control. I don't have control over the amount of food that I want to take in. And that's something that somebody that's going to have weight loss surgery shouldn't be thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to give myself a chance, like I said. Um, today is January 2nd. Um, on Christmas, I slipped up. Well, I didn't slip up. I allowed myself to eat and not deprive myself of, um, you know, something that I wanted. Um, I, I ate rice with gumbo and it didn't really make a difference because when I went for my last weigh-in, I still managed to um, lose the amount of weight that they wanted me to lose. So, and even when I told the, um, doctor, my surgeon, I was telling her and she was like, it's okay. Like you're trying, you know, as long as I see that you're trying, like you doing, you putting in the work, like she feel like I don't have nothing to worry about me. I'm just always been a doubtful person. And that's something that I want to work on with myself. Like I always think, I don't want to say the worst, but I kind of always like think the worst kind of for real like i always doubt everything like okay in the beginning of this shit excuse me in the beginning of this journey i was so confident about it once i seen the weight coming off like i was losing the pounds that they was asking me to lose um i was just like i'm killing it you know like i'm about to do this i didn't have no doubt and then once i the way in i did before this way in is when I got scared because I start asking myself all these questions like, dang, I still got stuff that I ain't ate that I want to eat. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. So for a moment when I was supposed to be shrinking my liver, uh, the second week I got into like, I went into it like anxiety to where I just was like, I'm not going to be able to eat nothing. Like, I'm about to eat everything that I want to eat. That scared me. That scared me when I did that because it's just like, that's like no control that I did that. Like, I didn't just go, like pig out and do like go overboard with it, but I did eat out of what they told me I was supposed to be eating. Like, um, what did I eat? I ate, um, I, I honestly, I didn't do too bad. I ate like some fried fish and some fried shrimp one day, and um, I still drank my protein shake. And that was just my one meal for that day. Instead of me eating that and eating another meal, I still ate my salad. I still ate my fruit. But I did eat out of what they told me to eat. Um, that scared me because it's just like, you know, this is going to be the last. This is the mindset that I have. Like, this is going to be my last time really enjoying food. Because once this happened, you're not going to be able to just indulge in it. Like, the 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 um what's what's the word i'm looking for you know when we eat we indulge and we right now we not eating to live or till we get full like we indulge in it like we're enjoying it it's just like you know so you're not gonna be able to do that basically when you have that surgery you're going to be eating to live you're you're going to be eating to live so that's what it is and I don't want to say that's what scared me, but it's just like, am I really ready for this commitment? Because what I don't want to do also is go through with this surgery and then it don't work for me. But I still have this little stomach that I still can't eat. You know, like, 
I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of pros and it's a lot of cons, but I'm giving myself this whole month to lose more weight on my own and see how that go. And really just stick to it and show up for myself and hold myself accountable. And, you know, nobody's perfect. So, if I fall short, I will pick back up and do what I got to do. Because, like I said, I want to be here for my son. I want to do activities with him. I want to be here, period. I want to live, you know. So, that's what this video consists of. Just basically letting y'all know I'm considering it. Um, it's a strong possibility that I'm going to go ahead and go through with it. But I just want, I don't know. I don't know why or what I think losing a couple of more pounds on my own is going to do for me. But I just feel like that's what I want to do. Um, I already notified my surgeon of it. So she just told me basically take the money. You know, they can't force me to go ahead and do it. Um, everything is up to me. Only thing she don't want me to do is gain the weight back that I lost so far. So, um, like I said, I'm still drinking my protein shake in the morning, um, eating my healthy lunch, drinking my water, um, eating my healthy snack and a half a shake, um, and then eating my dinner, which is like chicken and spinach or salmon and spinach, something like that. Nothing too major, but... Yeah, that's it, y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know or document it for myself. Um, I'm not going to say my current weight or my highest weight because I'm just not comfortable uh, putting that out there. I'll let y'all know that I'm 4'11", and that's pretty much double. You know, my weight is pretty much double. Um the body mass for a person of that height um, is really um, I don't want to say hard because it's not hard. I move around. I do everything, you know, but it's it's a lot on my body for me to be the weight that I am with the height that I am. So I just I just want to be healthy. I want to be able to go shopping in the mall and see stuff that I like and just buy it without having to worry about it. Like, oh, I'm not going to be able to fit that. Or, you know, like, I want to be able to go into multiple stores and buy whatever I want. I don't want to have to just shop at one store. Um, my back pain, like, I have so much pain in my lower back because I'm so heavy on myself. Um, recently... Like, my side been hurting, like, only on one side. Like, when I step down to put that pressure on it, it's just, like, I'm lifting like an old lady, and that's a problem. Like, I don't want to be no big wobbly, wobbly, drop, drop it like it's hot. You know, so, <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to just stick this shit out right now with this little diet. Well, not, I don't want to call it a diet, but this meal plan that they gave me, and see how that goes. Because who knows, this might be the meal plan that I needed all this time to really be strong and follow and just do it. And then also I'm about to um, start tomorrow because I, I missed yesterday and today because my baby was sick. But I really want to get up and um, walk for about 30 minutes every day. So eating healthy, drinking my water. Oh, that's another thing. I ain't drank no sodas. Um... I haven't drunk no soda in, shoot, in about three months. Um, when I first went, I went in October for my first, um, what is it, like, um, for my first, like, uh, check-in or meet-up, like, to meet the, the surgeon and for them to weigh me and all that stuff was in October before I went to Jamaica. Um, when I came back from Jamaica, I had missed the appointment, so I had to reschedule that, and I ended up going, uh, in the beginning of November. Then I went twice in this, 
December, I think. I can't remember something like that, but I started in um, October. So altogether, it's about a, a three to four month, um, a three to four month. Um, why my, my head, my mind is just going blank. Process, that's what I'm trying to say. A three to four month process before you can even get approved for it because I'm going through my insurance. I don't know how it is when you pay out of pocket, but I'm going through my insurance. So they require for me to do three months of weigh-in. And um, I had to talk to a nutritionist. I had to see a psychiatrist and I had to... Uh, attend some type of class which honestly i didn't even attend the class so i'm like i don't know if the surgeon just like uh didn't realize that i didn't do it or what but i ain't gonna say nothing about it um another thing too i know i'm just going on on and on i'm about to end this after this but another reason too is why why i want to wait a minute is because i recently found out that i have a thyroid problem um, my thyroid is off balance. I don't know if it's, um, high or low. I can't remember what they said. Um, so that's another thing I want to talk to my doctor about before I go through with, um, the surgery because yeah, my thyroid could be causing me to gain weight, you know? So if that's something that I could correct to help me out, to boost my energy, to make me want to get up and walk and make, you know, if that's going to excuse me, if that's going to help me out and give me the gas that I need to go, then that's also another thing. Like, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm uh, checking all my boxes before I just go ahead and jump into something, you know? So that's one thing I did do. I did get a lot of blood work done. I got a lot of tests ran on me because I just like, I'm, I'm so scared to let these people take a, a piece of my body out. Like, you know, that like, I don't know. I don't want to go into all that, but it's, it's this, you know, like that's a big thing. Like they're taking a piece of one of my organs out. Like it's the stomach of organ. I don't know, but they taking a piece of me out. You know, they removing the piece of me. Like that's, extreme that's a lot so i just want to make sure that i'm okay before i do anything or commit to anything so that's where i'm at with it so um yeah i hope you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel i know i don't be posting the way i'm supposed to be posting but i'm really trying to figure this thing out and just um come with some good content you know what i'm saying um i have a few things that i want to do i just really haven't got around to doing it because i'm at work all the time then plus i have a little uh three-year-old kid What's i was it? saying um I'm sorry about that. I'm at work, so somebody was coming in the door. I really don't want to be recording the people when they walk in into the building. But, um, yeah, I was saying I got a three-year-old kid. What was I saying? I don't know. I don't even remember how I left off. But I wanted to show y'all this, too. This is what um, the one I be drinking. They told me to drink the um, Premier, but... I just cannot get jiggy with them motherfucking shakes. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. For some reason, the, uh, the cafe mocha, it don't taste bad to me. Um, it don't taste bad. It's uh, less calories than the premier uh, chocolate one that they wanted me to do. Um, the total fats is 1.5 gram. Um, the carbs is 6 grams. Sugar is one gram and protein is 30 grams. So that's, I feel like it's about the same. And I want to say that the premiere is, um, 163 calories, if I'm not mistaken, but, oh, it just popped back up in my head. What I was saying, um, I was saying, 
I don't be able to get the videos up because I always be at work and I got my little three-year-old son. I be trying to record stuff with, like, of him, like, when I do stuff with him. But it seemed like y'all don't really care for those videos. So, I guess y'all don't want to see a little stinker. Um, I love watching him. I love seeing him do new things. I love teaching him new things. So, yeah, he will be in the videos. Um... Yeah, but I got a collective haul that I uh, want to do for y'all. I'll probably do that this weekend. Um, my cousin having a birthday party. I'll probably have vlog that. Um, I got a few things I want to do with y'all. So, hopefully you guys will like and comment and subscribe. And just wait on me because I'm getting a little more used to the camera. I actually got some stuff like saved in my phone of like videos I recorded. Not really practicing, but like stuff that I wanted to post. But I just feel like um, it's not all that. Like it's not interesting for real. I might just post it just because like my baby waking up on Christmas and opening stuff. Like he was really sick. So I might post it just to post it. But I got a collective haul that I want to do for y'all. Some of the stuff I got for my birthday. Some of the stuff I just bought just because and then what I got for Christmas. Um, Yeah. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.